another weekly flip through plus big a card reading for you guys and today's tarot deck that we're going to feature it's the egyptian tarot and this is another lost carabao deck but before i get into this today's reading we're going to do a past life reading this is something that i've done on my other channel so we are going to try it out on this channel uh, we're going to uncover what is your connection with the specific person on your mind from a past life all right and if you want to skip just click on the timestamps below all right so as you can see the box is quite simple but i just love the illustration and for me this is quite authentic in such a way that i've seen so many you know egyptian tarot you know type of a theme but this one was really calling out to me and for those of you who are not aware but i've shared this before um in many of my previous lifetimes i was always a queen or a princess and uh, my first lifetime as a human being was an egyptian princess and that's why i'm very much drawn to anything about egypt okay so that's why it's ethereal empress just to share to you guys because ethereal it's very much into angels you know very um mysterious at the same time and then empress it's because of in many of my lifetimes i was a queen or a princess so that's why i love this tarot deck so so much anyway this is actually the guidebook and it's quite simple actually it's just really going to show you the meaning of each cards which is also available in different languages now let's proceed with the cards all right so we have two extra cards by the way other lost caraveo decks awesome beautiful all right and as you can see look at that i really really love the design of this deck very beautiful Egyptian theme tarot for sure so yeah um, the cards are actually yeah quite glossy they're not matte they're glossy actually a little bit glossy and I love the size of the deck as well and it's not flimsy so let's give it a shuffle it's not going to be a full flip through that's going to take a long time you guys so we're just going to show you some of the cards from this tarot deck all right we'll start off with that one okay we have king of chalices look at that beautiful artwork i so love this oh man next we have here seven of swords with the ink then we have here knave of pentacles again very beautiful artwork over here and then of course it's available in different language next we have here wow the lovers look at the lovers card it's so beautiful ten of wands the hangman four of wands I love the style of the border here. Kind of like a scroll, right? And then we have Judgment. Beautiful. Very ancient Egypt for sure. And then we have Ace of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. I love this one. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, look at this, the High Priestess. Next we have Five of Swords. Suddenly remembered my late father because when he had a past life before um, with one of the um, well-renowned 
paranormal experts here in the Philippines, um, Jaime Licalco. Um, he actually underwent regression and then past life and all that. And it turned out that my late father was actually a high priest in Egypt. So the both of us, we have this very strong connection on top of he's my spirit guy right now and he's my bestest friend ever. I was really surprised about that because when I found out later on that I was a queen as well back in Egypt when I actually started out my life as a human being here in this realm <laughs> because um in the past um according to many psychics that i've talked to and it's the same thing you know they keep on saying wow you were a queen from egypt and so these are psychics um, who doesn't know each other but they keep on seeing that past life of mine and so um I was just really blown away because my late father was a high priest when he actually underwent some regression or some past life um, um, session uh, with Jaime Licoco. Anyway, Five of Swords. Oh, gosh. Next, we have Five of Chalices. Very beautiful artwork. The Fool. Look at that. We have an alligator or crocodile over here. And I love the symbols. Next, Five of Wands. Name of Chalices. Ten of Chalices. Seven of Pentacles. Wow, the tower, look at that. The pyramid. It's part of my bucket list to visit Egypt one day. I tell you that. I really love it. So anyway, you have here two of pentacles. Nine of wands. The hermit. King of swords. Beautiful. Wow. Next we have King of Wands. Eight of Swords. Ace of Swords. Nine of Swords. Strengths, wow, look at that. Beautiful illustration. And this is a very powerful deck. I've tried it already, guys, because I got excited. It's really powerful. The sun. The stars. Four of chalices. Six of Pentacles. Temperance. Wow. Ace of Chalices. Whoa, look at this. Death. Kick ass. I love that card too. Three of Swords. Three of Chalices, Ace of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Three of Wands, The Chariot, oh yes, Six of Wands, The Empress, wow, look at that. Really gorgeous. Two of Wands. Knight of Swords. I love this one too. 
Knight of Chalices. Six of Chalices. Ten of Swords. All right, we'll just pull up three more. Knave of Swords. The Magician. Wow. And the last card, let's see here. Six of Swords. All right, so there you go. Those are just some of the cards from the Egyptian Tarot deck. I so love this deck, and it's so freaking powerful. Really, really powerful, I tell you. Because I got really excited. I tried it out, and I was, like, blown away. All right? Anyway, so again, today we're actually going to do a past life reading. First, we're actually going to uncover, by the way, who they were from a past life and what is your connection with them from a past life as well all right for instance let's just say um you're inquiring about a lover maybe in your previous lifetime you and that lover that you're inquiring about are actually brothers and sisters from a past life right so that's exactly what we're going to do on this reading and we have three options as always all of them are brooches and their Egyptian brooches. All right, so let's get started. Here are the options. Group number one, this beautiful brooch. All right. Group number two, another lovely brooch over here, Egyptian brooch. Okay. And for group number three, it's this brooch. So yeah, pick an Egyptian brooch, guys. Is it group number one, this one, group number two, or group number three? Let's get started. All right, group number one, he chose this really cool Egyptian brooch. Let me just, yeah, focus that for you guys. Yeah. All right, so let's find out what is your connection with this person from a past life. First, let's actually ask who they were from a past life. All right, I want to do that first. Spirit guides, archangels, and angels, please provide some guided messages for the collective which chose group number one. Five of coins. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wanderer. world queen of coins two of coins And you got your awakening. All right. At the bottom of the deck, alchemist. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, we're not going to go with the signs here. All right. My main priority or focus would be, who is this person that you're inquiring about from a past life? Let's start off with that. I'm actually getting different scenarios here, honestly. For some of you, I'm actually getting that this person was actually abandoned as a kid in their previous lifetime, okay? That was really, really strong. Either they were left behind by their mom, that was so strong, I really got that. And I'm also picking up as well that for others of you, this person 
always travels. That's really strong because you got the wanderer. Wanderer for me is again somebody um, who travels a lot, kind of like a gypsy. That's really what I'm getting. And yeah, you got the world. For others of you, like this person, there's a lot of ships over here. So I'm actually picking up either a merchant or a trader. That was so strong as well. I'm also getting like this person. It's kind of like giving me the impression that they were really well off before, but then all of a sudden something happened. And this person experienced a lot of, you know, difficulties and poverty even, especially with that five of coins. Okay. That's actually what I'm picking up very, very strongly. I don't know. I'm getting, you know, there's something about Europe. That was so strong. I'm actually picking up more of like Europe for this person. That was really, really, really strong for me. But yeah, I feel that this person, like what I said, either they are a wanderer or they were actually, you know, left behind or they were abandoned by their mother. That's really, really strong for me. Like this person that you're inquiring about may have a very, very painful, you know, karmic lesson as well with, you know, a mom in their past life. So yeah, now let's ask, what is your connection with them from a past life? Let's see here. We are going to use the deck that we did a flip through off, which is the Egyptian tarot. All right, what is group one's connection with this person from a past life? Okay, eight of pentacles. Ooh. Well, that's way too many. Let me just shuffle more. Oh my gosh, now you got the Empress. Are you kidding me? So, yeah. And then two of wands. And then you got the Knight of Swords. Okay. Two of Chalices. Ooh, okay. And then Judgment. Oh my gosh, this is quite crazy. Oh man, are you kidding me? Because I'm getting a very, very strong message right now. And then two of swords at the bottom of the deck. Oh my gosh, you guys. All right, so first and foremost, what I'm actually getting here for some of you, the person that you're inquiring about, either you are the mother and this is your child from a previous lifetime, which is really crazy because earlier when I asked spirit, who is this person from a previous lifetime? Like who they were. So what spirit was highlighting was that this person was abandoned by their mom or this person is actually somebody who travels a lot, you know, um, you know, I'm getting that gypsy vibe from this person as well. For others of you, like their entire life is related to ships. That's another thing that I'm actually picking up. And now that we're asking, what is your connection with them from a previous lifetime? You got the Empress. Empress is a mom. Okay. So whether you are the mother, okay. And this is your child. Okay. Or it can be flipped. It can be switched. Actually, um, this person that you're inquiring about either. This is also your mother. All right. From a previous lifetime. Awesome. And then for others of you, I'm actually getting a different message from spirit. The person that you're inquiring about your connection is that you guys actually had a forbidden love affair. That was so strong. Like it's a big no, no. It's considered as taboo. All right. That was really, really strong. So you guys were lovers as well from a previous lifetime, but it's a big no, no. All right, there's that element of taboo in it that was so, so strong. And um, I feel as well that either you got caught or your affair was really judged by a lot of people as well because it was really deemed as inappropriate. Oh my gosh. So let's see. Let's try to pull up more. I love this reading. What is group one's connection with this person from a past life spirit? Oh my gosh. And now we see, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Look at that. A person is traveling again. Oh man. 
I just said that earlier when I saw the full card. I was like, wow, strong gypsy vibe, you know. Somebody who travels to different places, especially that the world card appeared. So, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Virgin. Okay. All right. And then Prince. Okay, so for a lot of you, it's also a lover. And then he got child nature at the bottom of the deck. See, I told you. Everything that we just talked about earlier, it's popping in your cards. So the strongest ones would be, this was also your lover from a previous lifetime. And I'm getting that there's something, you know, that is inappropriate with that love affair, you know. That was so strong. Either it's considered as, um, let's just say incest, you know, that's another thing. Or it can also be that um, I'm getting like, either that was you, you were also kind of like a princess as well, or a queen um, from a previous lifetime, and... Um, this is one of your soldiers because that's exactly what happened to me. Um, two psychics already told me that, you know, and I was blown away because they don't know each other. But they told me that I had an affair with one of my soldiers, which is actually considered, you know, um, a big no, no, of course, that you can't have an affair or you can't actually have a romantic, you know, affair with your soldiers. So. I feel the same type of vibe for some of you guys, not for all of you, but regardless, I'm just getting here that you had a romantic thing with this person as well from a previous lifetime, but it was considered as something that is inappropriate, all right? And then for others of you, again, child, okay? So either this is your child, all right, or you are their child. The person that they're inquiring about is your mother, or this was actually, you know, you. You are the mother and this is your child. Okay? I can't believe it. Underneath, you got child orphan. Exactly. So there's really something about that. Because when I saw this image over here, that's really the vibe I got. Okay? That one of you is actually a mom. Okay? Um, and there's definitely abandonment issues. And I feel that's also what's playing out in this lifetime for some of you. All right? Like... Somebody's trying to abandon the other person. That was really, really strong. Okay. I can't believe this. Let's try to pull it more. What is your connection with this person from a previous lifetime? And then we'll try to uncover the lessons that you guys needed to learn, right? The soul contract, the soul lessons. Field of Dreams. Stuck in the mud. Okay. All right. Let me actually, you know, focus on these three cards. I really feel that he had several lifetimes with this person, to be quite honest. All right. I'm actually, you know... Getting like four to five? I don't know. I'm really hearing that very strongly for some of you. Um, so the person that you're inquiring about in your mind, um, I really feel that you have multiple lifetimes with this individual, okay? And we've seen already that for a lot of you, this is actually somebody that... Um, Either it's your son or your daughter or that you are the son or the daughter and this is your mother. Okay, there's that blood relation. And then for others of you, like what I said, it's a lover. And I feel that there's a lot of hardships. There's a lot of conflict here. Even with the storm fields, all right? And I feel for some of you, this is also playing out in this lifetime. That's really what I'm getting here. I feel that in this lifetime, either nothing is happening between the both of you. That's really what I'm getting because you got the stuck in the mud. All right. And I'm also getting that for others of you, there may be people as well. Hmm. There may be people kind of like, you know, um, cause some chaos here. That's really what I'm getting. That was really what I'm hearing as well from spirit. It's like there are other karmics that was so strong. 
Oh man. Not for all of you, but I heard that very, very strongly. Yeah, like th there's that element of forbidden love. And I feel that you guys got caught. For me, this is a prison with a stuck in the mud. Okay, like you guys got caught because of other people. Where the affair was actually divulged by the people who actually found out about what's going on between you and this person. Oh my gosh, I just really heard that very, very strongly. Okay, all right, let's try to pull up more. This is quite juicy. What is your connection with this person from a previous lifetime? Let's see. Okay. And I noticed there's a lot of elephants. If, if you actually take a look at this card, we have another elephant. So for some of you, maybe, I don't know. I'm actually getting, I don't know why I heard Sri Lanka. I don't know who is from Sri Lanka or maybe a lifetime in Sri Lanka. That was also strong. Oh my gosh. And then he got your intuition. So again, I'm really picking up a very, very strong lifetime as well. On top of Sri Lanka, because I just heard that right now. Or any, you know, Asian country that was also strong for others of you. I'm also picking up for others of you that you guys are from different um, cultures, even from a previous lifetime. Not for all of you. I'm suddenly hearing a lot of information now, okay? But the strongest one would be that this is your child or you are the mother um, or it can be Switch, all right? And then for others of you, for a lot of you, actually, this is a forbidden love. And I'm drawn to this. With this intuition card, I'm not going to read it based on the actual meaning of it. But I'm also getting here that for others of you, there's something about religion. Okay? I don't know if this was like, kind of like, you can't have a romantic um, affair or um, be in love with a person's like a priest. You know, even on this, you know, in, in this lifetime, right? You can't, of course. But that's the vibe I'm getting. Like, maybe you fell in love with somebody who's actually either a monk. I don't know. I'm getting a monk with this, you know, guy over here. Um, there's something about religion for sure. Okay? Like, you can't be together. That was so freaking strong. And even with this milk and honey, if I take a look at that and read it intuitively, like, they're totally different. Milk and honey. Both sweet, but... It's like, they're still different. So that's the vibe I got earlier. Like, I heard from Spirit that the relationship is considered as a taboo. Oh my gosh. And I'm drawn to this image over here as well. I'm actually also getting, you know, somewhere in... Yeah, kind of like a Middle Eastern country, brothers of you. So I'm getting different countries right now. I actually heard Scotland for some of you, a lifetime in Scotland. And then I got Sri Lanka very strongly. Yeah. And also somewhere in the Middle East. That was so, so strong here just by looking at this image. All right, let's try to pull it more. The healing light. Okay. The thinking woman. Okay. Kinship. So, yeah, exactly. I really feel that for some of you, you and this person are related by blood. Because we already got that earlier. Like a mom and a kid. Like you're the mother or they're the mother. And you are the child. So again, it can be switch. That's really what I'm picking up here. 
I feel as well that your connection with this person is actually, you know, going to teach you a lot in terms of I'm hearing. Okay, I'm hearing more of like abandonment issues, really, because one of you got abandoned from a previous lifetime and that needs to be healed as well. That was so, so strong. All right. Even if I read this intuitively with a thinking woman, um, she's holding a book. All right. So I feel that there's definitely a lot of lessons with this connection that you have with this person. And part of the lesson, although we're not there yet, I really feel it had something to do with abandonment issues. It's one of the karmic lessons. Oh, man, I can't believe this. All right, let's try to pull up more. Okay, all right. So, yeah, I'm actually getting here again. There's something about differences. Like, the both of you are different from each other, and you can't be together. That's really what I'm getting. Even with this beautiful lady over here, and then there are two dolphins, all right? So, I feel like, you know, one is a human being. One is actually, yeah, again, a mammal, a dolphin. So, I feel like... For a lot of you as well, the person that you're inquiring about, you had an affair or uh, a romantic thing going on in a previous lifetime as well. So let's just say you're inquiring about a lover. It's, just still, it's still the same thing. You had a you know romantic affair with this person, but it's considered as a taboo. That was so strong for me. All right. That's really what I'm getting. I feel as well. Yeah, there's something about temples. So for some of you, that's why I actually picked up, I don't know, for others of you, Greece. That was so strong as well. A lifetime in Greece. And then I actually heard earlier Sri Lanka, Scotland, that was so strong. But I feel like what I said, um, and then he got return of Aphrodite, abandonment. Like somebody's waiting for the other person to return. Because somebody felt abandoned from a previous lifetime. Whether that's you, okay? Either you were actually also abandoned or you're kind of like feeling that right now in this present lifetime. Or this person has abandonment issues because it's rooted from their past life. I can't believe this. This is so crazy. All right, let's put more. Actually, try to ask first, what are the lessons now? What is this connection teaching you guys? Because this is not an uber long reading. Because I don't want to do a really long past life reading. It really drains me. Every time I try it, it drains me whole time. You know, the whole time. So let's see here. What are the lessons in this connection spirit? Okay, you got your strengths. Flame tree. Okay. A lot of cards about changes. A lot of cards about transformation. Okay, because you got rebirth as well. And I noticed there's a lot of butterflies. And even earlier, you got that butterfly and dragonfly as well, which is also a symbolism for change. So I feel the lesson that you and this person are learning in this lifetime, there's something that you guys actually needed to change so that you guys won't be repeating the same cycle over and over again. And I feel it had something to do with abandonment. I tell you that. All right. For group number one, either you felt abandoned by this person. It can also be that if you're actually the, you know, um, the child, like it's switch. It's the other way around. And they're the mother. It's like it kept on replaying. Like you always felt as if that this person is, you know, abandoning you or you felt left out or it's the other way around. That's actually what I'm getting. Because I feel that one of you is always leaving the other person behind. 
that was so strong. Oh my gosh. And I feel that this is actually also teaching the both of you to start something new, to do things differently so that the same cycle is not going to repeat over and over again. Because it's a cycle that kept on repeating. That was really strong. And of course, with the strength, it's going to, you know, teach you to become stronger as well. And this person as well. Oh my gosh. I feel as well, I'm getting here, there's something about fear, really. Because when I look at this rabbit... And the rabbit looks a little bit scared. I'm getting that. Like somebody has fear of abandonment for sure. Oh my gosh. All right. So let's actually pull up the soul lesson cards to gather more information about what are you learning from this connection or the both of you. What are the lessons in this connection between you and this person? Okay, you got pride, happiness, freedom. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So here's what I'm seeing. So definitely part of the triggers here in this connection uh, between you and this person that you're inquiring about, it had something to do with pride, okay? So either it's this person's behaving that way or it's actually you, all right? And then you got your happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. Because again, I've really seen a lot of lonely energy, especially that energy around abandonment like someone is really sad all the time because the other person kept on leaving them and that kept on repeating over and over and over again that was so strong also with the freedom i possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness so again i feel that one of you is basing your happiness with the existence of the other person that's what i'm hearing with these two cards now all right. And somebody's always kind of like latching on. I don't know. I'm getting that. It's like somebody is actually dependent on the other person. Just like this image over here. Because Spirit really wanted me to highlight this image. Because a lot of you guys who are watching, there's really abandonment issues here. We see a young girl here and there's a baby on her back. Okay. So I feel for others of you, either you guys are also siblings. If you're not the mother, or this is actually not your mother, then maybe you guys are siblings as well from a previous lifetime. And you guys are always together, but I feel that one of you is kind of like very much attached. So there's something about releasing, you know, the need to look for happiness outside of yourself. That was so strong with the happiness and freedom. Okay? So I feel that either for instance if it's this person who's kind of like very clingy of you let's say or very needy of you like very possessive of you this person needed to learn the lesson of you can create your own happiness you can base your happiness not just with other people or with you you know it comes from within that's really what i'm getting here for others of you it's the lesson about pride or ego Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. This is really crazy. All right, so before I wrap things up, let me actually pull up the past life cards for you. Oh my God, are you kidding me? This is such a crazy reading. See, I told you, I told you. When I actually saw this card, Spirit wanted me to highlight it, okay? Spirit is actually saying, take a look at that card. That's so strong. So for a lot of you watching, yeah, there's really something about abandonment. What did I tell you? Now you got the orphan. Somebody was orphaned here. So I feel that either you are the mother, because we've seen that earlier when I actually also asked, what is your connection with this person? Or it can be switched. You are the child. And this is actually your mother. Okay? Remember, it can be switched because it's a general reading. But regardless, there's that issue around abandonment here with the orphan card. Okay? I can't freaking believe this. 
so yeah, group number one. I feel that、um, this has been playing out over and over again. All right, one of you is actually feeling abandoned, and one of you is feeling as if their happiness is just based upon the existence of the other person, when that's not true. All right, we should be whole as well, on our own. All right, you should never base your happiness outside of yourself. We can only share our happiness with others, but not to depend the happiness that we are longing for outside of ourselves. All right, it already exists within you, and so I feel that's the huge, huge lesson here in this, you know, connection. For others of you, they're just showing me here that it is a past life.、Um, Kind of like, yeah, a cycle that kept on repeating, and it had something to do with taboo. Like you guys can't be together. So again, still the same energy, orphan. Like the both of you are being, you know, pulled away、uh, from each other. Because I'm getting the strongest lifetime here is that、uh, number one, a mother and a child, or somebody was orphaned or abandoned by their caregiver or their parent. Number two, it is a love affair, and、um, you guys can't be together for whatever reason. Either it's because it's inappropriate, or again, taboo is what I heard. For instance, that priest, or let's say, yeah, an affair between a priest and you know a,、uh, another person、um, who's not a priest, all right? Because he can't actually be an affair、um, or to fall in love with someone, especially if you are actually a priest. So I'm also getting that for others of you, for the rest of you. I'm just also getting like, yeah, it's more about、um, the other person is also kind of like always leaving、um, the other.、Uh, yeah, like somebody's traveling, somebody's always leaving. That's another thing that I'm picking up. Somebody's a traveler for sure for others of you with this wanderer, and the other person felt left out all the time. Like, why are you leaving me behind? Don't leave me. That's actually what I'm getting. What the freak, man? I can't believe this. Cause, in you know, in one of the cards that I actually pulled up for you guys, if you're actually not feeling that this is your child or you're you're the mother, I'm getting like it had something to do with. Traveling, like somebody always leaves behind the other person. You know, like I have to leave, I have to travel, I have to go away. I'm really getting that, and one is actually in this energy of feeling like a, you know, a, an orphan. Like, don't leave me behind. All right, so very dependent energy. That was really, really strong. I can't believe this. And yeah, this card is five of coins, meaning. Somebody's feeling left out in the cold. So again, orphan. I can't believe that. Like, this is the reason why I love shuffling real time. Cause you know you just don't know what's gonna come out. Let me just pull up more. Cause this is a general reading. But definitely, yeah. There's something about you know,、um, someone is feeling orphaned or somebody was left behind by someone. Either you left this person behind or yeah. See. Baby, what the freak? I mean, come on. There's always a lot of children or child. Just like with this card over here, we have、uh, it's kind of like their siblings. All right, we have a sister over here and a baby, you know, on her back. So now you got baby and then orphan. Need I say more? All right. So the strongest ones would be this is your child from a previous lifetime, or you are actually the baby. All right,、um, and this is your mother. All right, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Now, if not necessarily a mother-child type of you know、um, relationship, I'm actually getting like the energy of somebody is feeling abandoned all the time. All right, because the other person had to travel. We've seen a lot of you know travel cards. Like one of you is more of like kind of like a gypsy. You know, or somebody who's always on the go. Somebody's traveling to different parts of the globe, and so the other person was always left behind. But again, part of the soul lesson here is freedom. Okay,、um, not to also base happiness、um, from another person. Somebody needed to learn that lesson. Okay, somebody needed to be independent. That's another thing that I'm actually getting here. Because a baby is a vulnerable, yeah, yeah, it's a symbolism for vulnerability as well. Because 
a baby needed support, okay? So I'm also getting that very strongly. No wonder he got the strength card as well. Alrighty, you guys. That's it. That's all I have for you. It's such an interesting read. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you again on the next flip through plus pick a card. Bye bye, guys. Okay, group number two, you chose this really lovely Egyptian brooch. I don't know if you can see it. Let me just focus it. There you go. Let me put it aside. So again, we're going to do a past life reading. We are going to uncover what is your connection with this specific person in your mind from a previous lifetime. Okay. Let's actually start off first with identifying who they were in a previous lifetime. Spirit guides, archangels, and angels, please provide some guided messages for the collective which is group number two. Who is this person from a previous lifetime? Ooh, it's your lover. <laughs> okay, all right. And then four of cups. Okay. Six of cups. Oh my gosh. So definitely you had several lifetimes with this person. A soulmate for sure. Three of Cups, okay. Ace of Swords. Ooh, hold on. Let me just get one last card. And you got here, Ace of Cups. Well, well, well. <laughs> Need I say more? But look at this. You got the devil. Oh my gosh. Another forbidden energy that I'm actually getting. Although for group number one, the strongest ones would be, yeah, the person that they're inquiring about is actually either their child or they're the mother or roles can be switched, by the way. So in your case, I'm actually more of like getting there's definitely that romantic thing going on between you and this person, even from a previous lifetime. So even if you're inquiring about, um, let's say, you wanted to know if your what is your connection with your brother in this lifetime from a previous lifetime. Um, it turned out that you guys are actually, yeah, lovers, all right? That's just an example. So if you're inquiring about a lover, all right. So this person is also your lover from a previous lifetime. But I'm actually getting that element of taboo again. That was so, so strong. Okay. Like you guys can't be together. That's really, really strong for some reason. I'm also picking up same sex. So whether it's actually on this lifetime, this is actually a same sex, you know, thing going on. Um, or you're probably, yeah, you're from the LGBT watching this and you are interested in someone you wanted to know who is this person, you know, from a previous lifetime, you guys are lovers. So one of you, um, yeah, is actually either, um, more of like the divine masculine. The other is more of like the divine feminine. Um, that's actually what I'm getting, but I also feel for others of you, it's a different thing, you know, like, Yes, you are lovers, but there's also that um, restriction. Like, you can't be together. Wow. This also appeared for group number one, which is quite weird. So, for group number two, that's the strongest. But definitely, you and this person are soulmates, all right? There's a lot of love, I tell you that. There's a lot of love here. Even with the Ace of Cups and then the lovers. So I feel as well that um, for others of you watching, either you're also inquiring about a person... Um, Who's married already in this lifetime? And you guys can't be together. So again, the same situation kept on playing out over and over again. If actually, you know, that's what's happening to you, then even in your previous lifetime, it's the same thing. 
All right. For instance, um, it, you can't be together because of families are disapproving of it. All right. That's just an example. Um, on this lifetime, you can't be together because this person is married. You get what I'm saying? So there's that element of um, like taboo or you can't be together because it's also deemed as inappropriate you know that is so strong i feel as well that for others of you this was your friend okay from a previous lifetime where you guys are always together you guys are actually besties i'm also picking that up like there's that strong bond between you and this person for others of you i'm actually getting a different you know message i'm more of like getting a karmic okay a karmic relationship where there's actually, you know, a lot of control. That's another thing that I'm actually picking up. I feel that this person, who they were in a previous lifetime, for some of you, I'm actually getting, you know, I don't know why I heard Venice. So is that Italy? But yeah, there's something about painting. There's something about writing. I don't know. That was so strong. Either this person was actually a writer from a previous lifetime. Um, somebody's well off for sure. That was so strong. I really heard that. And I also heard Slovakia. I don't know. <laughs> wow. Let's see. Let's actually try to ask more about what is your connection with this person from a previous lifetime. What is group two's connection with this person from a previous lifetime spirit? Temperance, okay. Hermit, ooh, okay, all right. Five of wands, ooh, all right. So again, like what I said, like there's that element of drama. That's really what I'm getting with the five of wands. Like there's a lot of fights, um, two opposing parties, kind of like Romeo and Juliet for others of you. Oh my gosh. And then it got here, three of pentacles. All right. You have justice. Oh my gosh. And then you got Hierophant. Ooh, oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? And then you got the Emperor. I can't believe this. That's why I love past life readings. Okay, so for some of you, on top of you guys were actually lovers, all right? In many, many lifetimes, you're always like, this is your soulmate because we've seen a soulmate card, okay? For others of you, the reason why I'm actually picking up, like, you can't be together. Like, there's that element of taboo as well, just like for group number one. Somebody's probably checking out all three groups. I don't know, although we're not yet on group number three, but I'm getting that because that same energy is playing out again. So I feel that for some of you, this person, okay, Either it's them or it's you or the both of you are healers. So somebody watching group number two is highly psychic as well. That is what I'm hearing. And you're also inquiring about a person who's probably a psychic too. That was so strong. Not for all of you though. But let me start off with that energy. So the both of you are psychics. Actually the strongest would be healers. All right. And so this is actually somebody that you are. Yeah. Either. With the Three of Pentacles, that's talking about collaboration, okay? And for some of you, I'm hearing you guys are actually friends. So both of you are also healers from a previous lifetime. But, you know, there's actually romance injected as well. But then for some reason, it's like you can't be together. Like, you guys are not meant to, you know, have this relationship. For others of you, the reason why you can't be in a relationship, because you got the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is a priest, okay? So I feel that, yeah, like there's that element of taboo because a priest, just like for group number one, I got that too. You cannot be in a relationship, right? Um, because you are a priest. You have a responsibility. You have a duty. So, yeah, 
that's actually the vibe I'm getting. And they got the justice here. Again, something that is inappropriate. I can't believe this. I'm also getting for others of you. I'm picking up. There's something about immorality, you know, something that was viewed immoral in a previous lifetime. For others of you, I'm actually getting like this affair was actually kept hidden. That was really strong. I can't believe hearing it. Like you guys are actually, you know, keeping it as a secret from everybody else. That was so strong because if everybody else finds out about what's going on between the both of you, then yeah, it's really going to cause a lot of chaos. So yeah, that was actually so strong. I feel that the connection that you have with this person from a previous lifetime, the strongest one would be you guys are actually, you know, lovers as well. But then for others of you, you guys fell in love with each other, but you can't because of, you know, some obligations or duties, especially, you know, with the priest, like one of you is a priest as well. For others of you, I'm hearing healing, okay? Like one of you or the both of you are both healers for some reason. I'm really getting that. So, yeah, but there's also other people involved. That's what they're actually showing me here, which probably caused a lot of chaos in this connection. Because five of ones, it's not just between the both of you guys. I really feel that there's other people involved. But definitely, I'm getting like there's that romantic feeling between you and this person. Now, this is actually quite, you know, interesting because let's just say... On this lifetime, it's the same sex relationship because I'm hearing it very strongly from spirit right now. Especially when I saw this card, we see two guys over here, two naked guys. So I'm actually getting, you know, it's like, it's, the, it's still the same thing. Like, even on this lifetime, you know, being a same sex is not widely accepted, right? Um, especially if it's, you know, related to you know, some certain religions, like they really view that, of course, as something immoral. So haven't you noticed, like, it's actually, you know, we're playing over and over again, because even in the previous lifetime, it's the same thing. It's just a different situation. But it's like the both of you are actually kind of like not meant to be together or not really not meant, but it's like people are kind of like pulling the both of you apart from each other. All right. That was so freaking strong. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. Some of you, there was that secret affair. Because I keep on hearing that. Like you kept this affair hidden. The both of you. Like you guys are secretly, you know, <laughs> seeing each other. That was so strong. Because whatever, you know, affair that you had in a previous lifetime, it's something coined as illegal or inappropriate. Interesting. Although this appeared for group number one too, but the strongest for group number one would be this mother-child type of, you know, dynamic. With you, it's definitely a lover. Like, you guys are lovers. Even if the both of you are doing the same thing, all right? For instance, a priest and a nun. That's another vibe I'm getting. Like, both are actually, they have a duty, all right? But they can't fall in love with each other because it's really illegal. It's something inappropriate. You can't fall in love with each other. That's the vibe I'm getting for some of you. You know what? This is crazy. Wow. All right, let's try to pull up more. What is group two's connection with this person from a previous lifetime? Okay, you got saboteur... See, lover, I, I told you, lover, and then pioneer. There's something about writing. I don't know. Like, one of you is also a writer. That's another thing. Somebody's into arts. 
Because I feel this person's lifetime as well. They are into arts or something to do with writing. Just by looking at this pioneer, this is a validation for me because I heard that from Spirit. But yeah, generally, you guys are lovers. You keep on getting the word lover, all right? So even if you're inquiring about a family member, let's say, you know, on this lifetime, this is your mom, let's say. Um, in a previous lifetime, you guys are lovers. So yeah, I can't believe this. This is so interesting. Yeah, we have a lot of hearts. So yeah, you guys are really, you know, soulmates. That's what I actually heard from Spirit. But for some of you, there's that element of drama. Like there's always other people's kind of like pulling the both of you apart. You know, some of you, you guys were like, yeah, I got that vibe of you have to keep your um, affair a secret. That was so strong. So even if it's playing out in the same, you know, lifetime, here on this lifetime rather, and the same situation kept on playing out. For instance, you're inquiring about a person who's married. So again, he can't be together. There's other people involved. You got what I'm saying? This is so crazy. I love this reading because it's quite juicy. All right, let's see. What else? What is group two's connection with this person? Okay, got rescue. Coming to life. Yeah, again, lovers. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was so strong. I'm also hearing very strongly, all right, that your connection with this person that you're inquiring about from a previous lifetime, you guys really help each other a lot. I don't know. The word help, helping each other, is so strong. Even with this encouragement card, motivation, I don't know. I'm really getting that. Like the both of you are not just lovers, but you're like best, best of friends. I even, you know, said earlier, like besties. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm also hearing like one of you is trying to lift the other person. Just like with this image over here. Like she's actually up in the air. There's a butterfly over here. I don't know. That's what I heard. Like, you guys are actually helping each other out all the time. No wonder you got the Three of Pentacles. Because Three of Pentacles is a teamwork card for me. You know, collaboration. Alliances. So it's like the both of you are like partners in crimes. You know, the both of you are always, you know, supporting each other. Wow. This is so, so weird. And they got rescue. So I'm actually picking up for others of you. The both of you are doing the same things. The both of you are actually helping other people. Now that's so strong. Especially if you're resonating with. In this lifetime. You're also doing it as a life purpose. You're a psychic or a healer. Um, you were also doing that in a previous lifetime. Okay. And this is actually a person who's doing the same stuff. That was so freaking strong. And you guys are also helping each other. All right, there's that strong bond, alliance. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. This is so, so powerful. All right, let's try to pull it more. Message in a bottle. Choose your battles, okay. Yeah, I'm also getting a very European lifetime just by, you know, looking at this image over here. Somewhere in Europe. Earlier, I actually heard Slovakia, by the way. But I'm actually really getting here. Your connection with this person is that 
the both of you are actually, you know, um, you both are lovers, right? We've already seen that many, many times. But I feel that one of you is kind of like afraid to fight for the connection. That's actually what I'm getting. Especially with this choose your battles. Like this person needed to be strong, you know, to overcome all of these obstacles here. So I feel that this connection is actually teaching one of you or the both of you, all right, to fight for your own happiness or to stand up for your right, um, to fight for this connection. I don't know. I'm getting that very, very strongly. I'm also getting that for others of you watching, the person that you're inquiring about, or this can also be you, one of you is kind of like not wanting to express feelings and emotions. That's another thing that I'm actually picking up. Not for all of you, but that's what I heard. Like somebody is actually um, kind of like appearing as if they are stone cold. Just like, I'm drawn to this. Spirit wanted me to point this out. And just by looking at this, you know, three, you know, faces over here and they're all stone so i'm getting there's something about emotions and you got message in a bottle which is also about feelings and emotions and it's like emotions are bottled up so i feel it's like you know that's even playing out on this lifetime for some of you watching like you may notice that this person either one of you it can be switched by the way Either one of you is kind of like not wanting to show your true feelings. Like I have to control my feelings. For instance, this is just an example, okay? Because I heard that from Spirit earlier. Somebody watching group number two, either it's you or this other person is a priest. That was so strong. And so this is when, uh, you know, either another, maybe if you were the priest and this is the nun or one of you is the nun... It's like, again, you can't be together, but you guys fell in love with each other. And so what's happening is that you have to control your feelings. That was so strong. Like somebody's really trying their very best not to release all of those emotions. Like I shouldn't, I shouldn't. It's wrong, it's wrong. That was so freaking, freaking strong. All right. So maybe in this lifetime, you might be also feeling that, okay? So whether it's this person's doing that, like this person doesn't want to express their feelings and emotions, then it's already, you know, playing out again, you know? Because it's also related to a past life um, situation. I'm also getting here that for others of you, hmm... Yeah, I'm hearing, okay, I'm hearing from spirit that others of you watching, you're inquiring really about a person that's married, and I'm talking about the current lifetime, okay, about the current lifetime, so maybe this person I'm inquiring about, you had an affair with this person, this person's already with someone else, and you wanted to know who they were in a previous lifetime, what is your connection with them, again, it's a lover, but then, yeah, haven't you noticed? It's like there's that element of not being together or you guys are kind of like, yeah, like judged by people or you can't be together because it's tag is wrong. There's immorality, you know, for others of you, that was so strong. And somebody is not kind of like wanting to be real to their feelings. And so what this person is actually doing is that they're bottling up their emotions. Kind of like stone cold with all these, you know, faces over here. Hmm. All right. Let's try to pull up more. Quite interesting. Ooh, okay. You got here, teacher. Hmm, no wonder I got that. Like, the both of you are helping each other out. Oh my gosh. All right. Financial constraints. But I'm going to read that, uh, you know... Intuitively. 
So yeah. Now this is actually quite strong. For others of you, you and this person are actually kind of like, yeah. Like the both of you are working together. The both of you are doing the same things. That was so strong. And I'm getting, you know, with this teacher, like the both of you are helping each other out. For instance, this is just an example, just to, you know, make it clear to you guys. It's kind of like this. Um, in a previous lifetime, you know, the both of you are actually um, doctors, let's say. And so you guys are working under the same, you know, type of career or field. But you guys formed a really beautiful bond um, because you're doing the same things. And so the both of you are helping each other out. One of you is a lot more experienced. That's how you met this person. That's the vibe I'm getting. And especially if you're a psychic watching this, because I really heard that from Spirit. You're inquiring about a person who's also a psychic. Whether it's not on this lifetime, although everybody is a psychic, but I'm talking about like a life purpose. I even heard healers. Like the both of you are actually healers and the both of you are doing the same things, but one of you is well experienced, all right? One of you is teaching the other person. That's why I got the teacher here, all right? But I also got this message of there's romance involved. There's definitely romance involved, but it's like you can't. Like there is a rule in which the both of you shouldn't fall in love with each other. Kind of like a teacher-student affair as well. Like, it's going to be viewed as something, you know, inappropriate to be, you know, in a romantic um, relationship with your teacher, you know? Um, like, people are really going to find that a little bit scandalous, you know? So, again, that's the vibe I'm picking up for some of you watching and even with this financial constraints all right i'm going to read it intuitively because one door is actually open and the other is closed off so again there's something about bottling up you know some emotions like one of you is trying to control your feelings for the other or maybe the both of you are trying to resist. Like, no, you are a temptation to me. I'm, I don't want to fall in love with you. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. That's the vibe I'm getting. No kidding. So I feel that's what's going on in a previous lifetime with you guys. So if in this lifetime, the same things are playing out, like you already have feelings for this person or you're in love with this person, but the both of you can't be together. For instance, third party. Again, it's really viewed as something immoral, right? To be in an affair because this person is already married. Kind of like that. I can't believe this. But yeah, they're showing me here that the both of you are always together. All right? There's something about work. There's something about doing the same things, you know, together. For instance, like what I said, the both of you are teachers, or the both of you are healers, or the both of you are doctors. That's really what I'm getting. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this reading. That's why I still love it. All right, let's try to pull up more. Yeah. Somebody is really kind of like not speaking up their truth. That's really what I'm picking up. All right. That was so strong. And then I'm also getting like in a previous lifetime, there's really something about opera. I don't know. There's something about singing. Because for me, this is, you know, yeah, Song of the Siren, right? So I feel that in a previous lifetime, somebody's really into arts. Because I even heard, you know, gallery, museums, or a writer. That was so strong. So I'm actually picking up with these two cards. The connection that you have with this person. All right. It's obvious you guys are lovers. But it's kind of like already teaching the both of you or one of you to speak the truth. To be honest, no wonder you got the Ace of Swords. I believe we got that earlier. Let me go back to your cards. I believe we got the Ace of Swords. Yep. 
There you go. Bingo. Bingo. And the Ace of Swords is talking about truth and clarity and communication. All right? And what needs to be communicated is the truth about your feelings for each other. That was so strong. Like, one of these kind of like trying to hold back their feelings. One of these actually kind of like, no, I shouldn't. I should forget about my feelings. I should, you know, resist all of these emotions or shove these emotions away. That's really what I'm getting. So I feel that the reason why I got the freedom card, because there's a lot of restriction. Okay. And that's the opposite of freedom. Somebody is actually, you know, afraid to speak up or really, you know, tell the truth about how they feel. I'll go back to the exact same example I gave you guys so that you can better understand my point. For instance, a priest and a nun, all right? So what's happening is that even though the both of them are already in love with each other, they try to hide it. They try to pretend as if, no, I don't have any feelings for this priest. Or the priest is saying, oh, I don't have any feelings for this nun. But the truth is the reason why they're holding it back because they know that it's wrong, you know? It's wrong to fall in love with each other. So again, there's something about the word forbidden for group number two. I can't believe this. Honestly, I need to move on because every time I do past life reading, it's really draining my energy. It's making my head hurt. That's why I rarely do past life. Okay, because I don't know, for some reason, every time I do a past life reading, it's really making me dizzy. It's really, you know, draining my energy for some freaking reason. I don't know why, honestly, every time I do that. But anyway, let's try to uncover more lessons. Um, or what are the soul lessons in this connection between you and this person? Let's actually start off with this one. Discernment. Okay. All right. Passion. Okay. 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 Now, this is quite interesting. I knew it. I love this reading. Wow. And then he got a message of love. See? I can't believe how everything is matching. Because you guys, there's really something about acknowledgement here. I feel part of the lesson in this connection or the strongest ones would be to be truthful, to be honest with what you truly feel about each other. Okay? Because like what I said, I feel that you guys were also lovers, but because of there's a lot of restriction you guys have to restrict or you have to hide it. You have to hold it back. There you go. It's like, that's the energy I'm getting for group number two. There's a lot of holding back of feelings. That's why I got message in a bottle. All right. Like bottled up feelings, bottled up emotions or pent up emotions. That's really what I'm getting. Looking at this discernment card, we see this image over here. Let me just, yeah, put it closer to the camera lens. So it's like, See no evil or speak no evil, see no evil, hear no evil. So again, if you take a look at that, it's like there's restriction. You shouldn't look at it. You shouldn't listen to it. You shouldn't speak the truth. So again, that's the vibe I'm getting. All right. Like either you guys are keeping a blind eye or someone is doing that. Like, no, I'm, I'm going to shove what I'm feeling for this person. I shouldn't look into this connection. That's really what I'm getting. But honestly, there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of love in this connection. And he got a message of love. So I feel that is playing out in many of your lifetimes, group number two, because this person is your soulmate, all right? Unlike with group number one, I'm getting a combination of a mother, you know, son, or yeah, that mother-son dynamic. Um, but for group number two, for 
all of you, honestly, it's a lover, all right? It's a lover where you guys are actually working together on something. Um, like, for instance, the both of you were doctor from a previous lifetime. Um, or I'm also getting, like, for some of you... Um, you guys are like friends, really close friends, but there's that element of romance still. It's still the same thing. It's a lover, all right? This is your lover in many lifetimes. But the problem is I feel that one of you is kind of like not wanting to look into their feelings. One of you is not wanting to be truthful. One of you is holding back their feelings all the time. Again, speak no evil, see no evil, all right? Don't listen to it. So it's like there's a lot of energy of, you know, something that is forbidden, you know, like you shouldn't. You shouldn't actually be together. I shouldn't, you know, pay attention to my feelings. I shouldn't look into my heart, what my heart is telling me about this person. That's the vibe I'm getting for group number two. I can't believe this. And again, with the birds over here, for me, that's freedom. And you got the freedom card, you know? I can't believe this reading. I love this. I love this. All right. So let's uncover more lessons. What are the lessons in this connection? Indecision. Okay. Denial. See, I told you. I told you. Somebody, oh my gosh. Somebody's trying to convince themselves, no, I don't have any feelings for, you know, group number two. Whether it's them who's doing that or it's you. Again, roles can be switched. Because some of the viewers, it's you who's actually trying to, you know, again, appear as if you don't have any emotions. All right, let me go back. Because I'm drawn to this. Spirit wanted me to highlight that. All right, we see faces. But all of them are stone, you know, very detached, very cold. That's really what I'm getting. And that's also because of I shouldn't, you know, I shouldn't look into my feelings. It's wrong. It's wrong. So, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe this. Let me get another one. I feel like getting another one. Purpose. Exactly. I know what I'm here to do. So this is actually what I'm getting. I feel, you know, even with a purpose, I feel that the both of you, group number two, the person that you're inquiring about, just like what I said, the both of you are kind of like, you know, partners in crime. Because that's the vibe I've heard from Spirit earlier. For instance, the example that I actually got was the both of you are doing the same things. In fact, I even saw that for some of you watching, the both of you are healers. I really heard that. The both of you are healers. Even a previous lifetime, you both are healers. All right. But there's that element of love. But the both of you are in denial or one of you is trying to deny their feelings for each other. Like I shouldn't. No, I shouldn't fall in love. That's really what I'm getting. Again, the word restriction or being in a state of denial, in denial, like I shouldn't. I should deny all of these feelings that I have. And it's also rooted from fear. That's why with this card, let me go back again. Look at this guy. This guy is courageous. This guy is actually standing right in front of these huge, you know, rocks over here or stone over here. And this person is not afraid, you know. And I feel that's actually part of the lesson here. Not to be afraid to replace fear with love. That's really what I'm getting. And also in decision. So I feel that part of the lesson this connection is to really, you know, decide what you want, you know, to really go for what your intuition is. I feel for some of you, um, either it's you or the person that you're dealing with is not wanting to look into their intuition. They're more logical. That's what I'm hearing from spirit. They're actually listening more to their head than their heart. No wonder you got the message of love and there's an image of a heart. So I feel that's part of the lesson here. So for instance, if you were going to say, yeah, it's that person. That person doesn't want to reveal their feelings for me. That person is denying their feelings for me. That's it. That's part of the lesson. Okay. To follow your intuition as well. That's why I got the discernment card. All right. To trust what your intuition is telling you. Your inner guidance. Okay. 
I also feel that, yeah, with a purpose, I know what I'm here to do. Um, the sole lesson is that the both of you are actually, yeah, put together because the both of you are really going to help each other out. Because the word help is also very, very strong for group number two. Even in your previous lifetimes, you guys are always helping each other. It's like the both of you are doing the same things. For instance, the both of you are writers or the both of you are artists or doctors, you know, or healers. The both of you are really, you know, helping each other out in whatever life purpose. So whether for others of you, that's what I heard. I even heard writer. Yeah. And um, healers. Okay. So, yeah, let's try to pull up a past life cards before we wrap things up. And if you notice, I was about to lose my voice. If you notice, I never lost my voice. Or even, you know, I never had that feeling of I'm about to lose my voice for group number one. But for group number two, I notice I'm about to lose my voice again. So, I'm perfectly fine, like always. But this is suggesting to me there's something about communication, speaking the truth. I just said that earlier. So throat chakra is really a blockage. Like somebody's having a hard time expressing. Because when your throat chakra is blocked, you can't express yourself. You're having a hard time, you know, speaking the truth. Or um, letting your voice be heard. Or just expressing what you truly feel. So I feel that's part of the lesson why my throat is becoming scratchy again. Or it's as if I can't talk because of that, all right? And I feel this is part of the soul lesson between you and this person. Okay, let's see. Before we wrap things up, let me get some past life cards for you guys. Ooh. Okay. Authority, figures, and then biblical. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, makes sense. So, I feel that... Um, with the authority figure, no wonder I got the emperor. Earlier, I said priest, right? That's an authority figure. So, uh, and then you got teacher. That's still a person of authority. So I feel that <laughs> your connection with this person for a previous lifetime, either one of you is kind of like the leader, or this person is kind of like, yeah, a priest. Because that was so strong. And then you even got biblical. Okay, a person is very wise, uh, filled with a lot of wisdom, or kind of like a high priest. Again, an authority figure. For others of you, you even got the justice card. So kind of like the judge. That's an authority figure. Because you even see here this gable, right? So, yeah. Quite interesting reading. I just love how everything is matching. And then, yeah, you guys are old souls. You got biblical. So I feel that you guys have been together um, in multiple lifetimes, even during biblical times. All right. So, yeah, maybe, you know, in Jerusalem or, you know, that's also what I'm getting. I'm also, you know, looking at this image over here. And there's something about work. So it's like the both of you are working together, just like what I said earlier, working under, you know, it's like the both of you are doctors, just like why, just like what I said earlier, like the both of you are doing the same steps. No wonder you got the purpose card. Okay, man, this is so crazy. And I feel before we wrap things up as well, I'm getting a very strong energy that some of you, either you are actually in love with the boss I don't know, I heard that right now, okay? So it's kind of like the same things are playing out because this person is also an authority figure from their past life, whether they are a judge or they are also, um, yeah, a priest. That was so strong. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, that's all I have for you, group number two. I hope you enjoyed this reading, and I will see you again on the next flip through plus pick a card. Bye-bye, guys. Last but not the least, you chose this very beautiful brooch there you go all right so let's actually find out what is your connection with this specific person on your mind from a previous lifetime okay let's get started spirit guides archangels and angels please provide some guided messages for the collective which shows group number three actually let's start off first with who they were from a previous lifetime
Ooh, you got the devil. You got emperor. King of Wands, strong male energy, and then he got two of cups as well. All right. Wise one. Again, I'm picking up a strong authority figure. My gosh. Very masculine energy. And then you got here, Queen of Swords. Again, authority figure. Crazy. But then look at this, Ace of Cups. All right. So I feel I'm already hearing, although we're not there yet, I really heard unconditional love. Okay, that's part of the lesson, this connection between you and this person. Okay, I really heard that, although we're not there yet, but I need to deliver that before I forget it. Okay, so who is this person from a previous lifetime? They're an authority figure, a very powerful person. A lot of strong figures here. Okay, you got the Emperor, you got the King of Wands, you got the Wise One, which is definitely the Hierophant, okay? Um, and then you got Queen of Swords as well. So again, strong personality, strong energy here. So I'm getting multiple messages right now, honestly. For some of you, this person is actually your father, all right, from a previous lifetime. Um... For others of you, it's actually a lover. I'm also getting that element of love, like you guys are actually lovers as well in a previous lifetime. Um, but for some of you, I'm also hearing this is a karmic relationship that was so strong as well. And then for others of you, I'm actually getting that this person is actually a monk. I'm getting that as well. <laughs> when I saw this Buddha over here, um, I really heard that, you know, a person is very spiritual or either kind of like a priest as well, which is quite weird because group two also got that. Somebody's checking all three groups. My gosh. Anyway, only take what applies. But I'm getting here that for a lot of you, um, this is actually um, a father in your previous lifetime or um, I'm getting, yeah, if not, then this person is actually a lover, all right? That was so strong as well. Hmm, let's try to pull up what is your connection from this person or rather with this person from a previous lifetime. Let's see here. What is group three's connection with this person? Two of wands. Ooh, Nave of Pentacles. Okay. All right. Student. Hmm. Five of wands. Okay. Justice. The Magician. Ooh, okay. Knight of Swords. Okay. And then Six of Swords. Interesting. So we've already seen that this person is actually, you know, for some of you, this is a father. Um, maybe in this lifetime, you're inquiring about a lover, but they are your father in your previous lifetime. I'm also getting a lover for a lot of you, but I'm also getting that teacher-student, you know, energy, all right? That is your connection with them from a previous lifetime. Like one of you is a teacher, one of you is a student. That was so strong. So it's crazy. Like one is a lot more mature or a lot more experienced than the other. That was really, really strong as well for group number three. Okay. I also feel, again, with the justice, that's authority figure. All right. 
So I feel that's um, what's really playing out um, for you guys when it comes to your previous lifetime with this person. They both are actually either working together as well. All right. Some of you are actually with a magician. Somebody's into esoteric stuff as well. All right. That's another vibe that I'm getting. I'm kind of like picking up a high priest. All right. That's the vibe as well that I'm getting. Like a high priest. Somebody's really. That's why I got the wise one. Somebody's actually really, really knowledgeable, very wise, holds a lot of information, or a high priestess. That was so freaking strong. I'm also getting, you know, something to do with, I heard activist, like fighting for something. That's why I got justice. Like somebody's fighting, you know, for something. For instance, um, you're actually an advocate. I'm hearing that very strongly, okay? That's another energy that I'm picking up right now. Like, for instance, to protect the environment, you know? I'm also getting that. Like... You guys are actually probably, you know, doing the same stuff as well. Like the both of you are actually, you know, fighting for a cause. That was so strong. Again, very strong leadership energy. But yeah, I really feel that the both of you, all right, on top of you guys are lovers or this is your father. There's that teacher ener energy and that student energy. Like the both of you are helping each other out or one person is actually teaching the other person. Hmm, crazy. Okay, so let's try to pull it more. What is group three's connection with this person from a previous lifetime? Are you kidding me? He got the father. Oh, my God. See, I told you. I told you guys. This is your father or you're the father. It can be switched, by the way. Earlier, for group number one, mother. Now, for group number three, it's the father. So, yeah. That's why I said I'm getting a very masculine energy. Oh, gosh. This is so freaking crazy. See? Healer. All right. Yeah. I just said that like somebody's really into esoteric, um, whether this is also what you're doing right now, you're already, you know, doing that as a life purpose. And in your previous lifetime, you're also a healer or a psychic because I really got that as well. Right. Um, I even said that, you know, this person is also very spiritual. I'm also getting, you know, monk for some reason. That was so strong. Like, this person was also a monk from a previous lifetime. But anyway, let's just pull up one more. Midas Meister. Okay. All right. So, yeah. I feel, you know, you guys are actually either siblings. For others of you who are not resonating with, yeah, he seems to be like my dad, you know? No wonder why I'm actually picking up like he's like a dad to me. Because in a previous lifetime, this is your father, or it can be switched, all right? You are the father. <laughs> and then you got the healer, all right? So the connection you have with this person is that the both of you are doing the same things, all right? That was also strong. Like, the both of you are working on the same, you know, um, purpose. Because I heard that. Like, the both of you are fighting for a cause, kind of like that. Or, for instance, both of you are healers. You're healing people. All right? <laughs> I can't believe this. This is really a crazy reading. I love the synchronicity. All right? But I heard for others of you, the lesson of this connection had something to do with unconditional love. If it's a karmic, because for some of you watching, again, only take what applies. This is a karmic person. And maybe you notice that this person is very controlling. Okay? And again, there's something about authority. Like this person wanted to be entitled or they are kind of like a boss, you know? I am the leader. I am the boss. Like, I call the shots. That's the vibe I'm getting. Okay, because 
that's who they were in a previous lifetime. They're leaders as well. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. And by the way, I'm actually hearing that this person was very wealthy for others of you. I'm getting a lifetime, I don't know whether that's Greece or Rome. I'm really getting that. And for others of you, I'm getting I'm I'm getting different lifetimes, honestly. For others of you, I even heard monk. And then for others of you, I'm getting a totally different, you know, energy. Like this person is so rich and I'm talking about rich, wealthy. That's the vibe I'm getting because you even got the Midas. No wonder you got that because I heard that earlier. And this person used to get everything what he wants. I'm getting heat because it's a very strong masculine energy. So even if you're inquiring about a woman, this person was a male before. Like this person is so freaking wealthy. Unfortunately, this person is kind of like, you know, for some of you, especially if this is a karmic, this person is actually quite either stubborn in this lifetime as well, or somebody who wants to call the shots. There's something about like, you know, um, kind of like a bratty energy. <laughs> That's really what I'm getting, a bratty energy. Like they are, yeah, kind of like, they wanted to get what they want, you know? It's like, what I want, I get type of attitude. That's really, really the vibe I'm getting from this person. Okay, okay, let's move on. Crazy. Let's see, what else? What is Group 3's connection with this person for a previous lifetime? Okay, but yeah, for a lot of you, you guys are lovers. That's actually what I'm getting. Yeah, you got protecting treasure. So again, there's really something about wealth. Because <laughs> you got treasure chests over here. See, follow the leader. Oh my God. You know what? This reading is so freaking crazy with all the synchronicity. Earlier, before you pulled up that father card, I already told you guys, like this is actually your father. All right? From a previous lifetime. Or you're the father. And this is your child. Huh. And then we got the father card. So I also said authority figure. And now he got follow the leader. And I was just saying like what I want to get. Like I call the shots. Uh, you know, that's the vibe I'm getting. So yeah, they are definitely leaders or authority figures from a previous lifetime. Maybe you were the student. You know, that's another thing I'm getting. Like the both of you are doing the same things. All right. For others of you, it's just that you guys are actually lovers, but there's actually a lesson around unconditional love. There's a lesson around, um, yeah, about control, okay? That was really, really strong, or a restriction even for others of you. I can't believe this. And then he got protecting treasure, because I really heard that. Like, this person is so freaking well off. I'm getting a lifetime kind of like, yeah. Kind of like a sultan, you know? That's the vibe I'm getting from this person for others of you. Because I'm getting different, you know, um, energies. For others of you watching, this person was a monk or uh, a well-respected, you know, spiritual figure. That was so strong. I won't be surprised if this person is a high priest. You know, somebody's really knowledgeable. Somebody's really, really wise. Kind of like a spiritual teacher as well. That's the vibe I'm getting for others of you. But the rest of you, I'm getting a totally different energy. Just a father or a, a masculine energy, a leader. Oh my gosh. I just love this reading. I love this reading. It's so juicy. So let's try to find out more. What is Group 3's relationship or connection with this person? Let me pee this lifetime. You got to your time to go. Okay. Mmm, again, he got crown chakra. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, okay, all right. So I'm getting with all these three cards, 
you got the crown chakra, time to go, new vitality. There's really something about spirituality. All right, that's why I got monk even earlier. Um, something to do with life purpose again. So I feel that uh, somebody watching group number three is also into spirituality, like very much connected to spiritual stuff, esoteric stuff. That was so strong, okay? And I feel that both of you are also doing the same things in a previous lifetime. That was really, really strong. For others of you, I'm actually getting that, um, yeah, there's something about creativity. Like the both of you are actually highly creative, um, artistic even, something to do with music, just like with this guy over here or the arts. And there's really something about um, wisdom for group number three. I feel as well that there is a lot of lesson, not only about unconditional love, but there's something about freedom. I keep on hearing that. Somebody's also very controlling for others of you, especially if it's a karmic, because again, only take what applies. I'm getting a lot of energies, honestly. All right, let's try to pull up more. Let's see, what else? Ooh, cars are really flying out. Okay, yeah, great achievement. Oh gosh, you guys are soulmates. Hmm, yin, yang, okay. Yeah, there's really something about healing. There's really something about healing here, all right? I feel that a lot of, you know, people who chose group number three, you guys are really healers, all right? Natural healing abilities. And I feel this person that you're inquiring about, the both of you are also healers from a previous lifetime, okay? Um, that's the vibe I'm getting here. Or you're doing the same things with this great achievement, that was so strong because I even heard brothers of you kind of like something to do with creativity um, or somebody's teaching the other person um, about something because um, I'm getting a teacher student uh, dynamic for some of you watching. All right. You have this very powerful bond with each other. Brothers of you is as simple as this is your father. OK, but yeah, there's also something about healing. I feel as well that this connection is also teaching you something about balance. The word compromise is also strong. There's something about freedom. Although we're not there yet, but I heard those things, even unconditional love. Like this connection is teaching the both of you about the lesson of unconditional love. I'm also hearing like, yeah, like somebody is actually kind of like a speaker, like talking to many people. That's really the vibe I'm getting to. Hmm. Like somebody's really wise talking. That's why I'm picking up spiritual teacher, which is freaking weird. That was so, so strong. Like, you know, talking to a lot of people, sharing their wisdom and their knowledge. That was so freaking strong. Huh. Let me pull up more because this is juicy. Yeah, see, a mother and a child. So either a parent, because earlier you got the father, all right? So it's kind of like group number one because group number one got that. So for some of you, I'm getting that parent um, or mother, daughter or father, son, whatever um, dynamic. And again, every time I get this card, see, I'm about to lose my voice again because you got the voice, all right? Song of the Siren. So I feel, yeah, for some of you, there's something about music, 
all right? Because earlier, I keep on hearing creativity. Like, somebody's into arts, music, uh, um, writing. That was really strong as well. And then you got the unseen, too much just hidden from you. So I'm actually getting here with this unseen card. I feel that somebody's hiding. Somebody is not speaking their truth as well. That's why I'm almost, you know, about to lose my voice again. Because this is a voice card with the song of the siren. Somebody's just trying to hide something. It's kind of like group number... Was it group number two? Yeah, I feel it was group number two. So somebody's really checking out all three groups. Because I'm getting that same energy again. Like... This person or the lesson in this connection had something to do with speaking your truth, being honest with what you truly feel instead of hiding it, instead of actually restricting yourself or holding it back. So one of you is doing that. That's actually what I'm getting. Somebody has, you know, issues with speaking their truth or communicating their true feelings. I'm also hearing for others of you, like you felt as if that you can't actually, um, you can't allow yourself to be heard with this person because this person is controlling, very dictatorial, kind of like a military. That's actually what I'm getting. Like somebody's afraid to speak up. That was so strong as well. All right. Like I shouldn't, like I should just follow. That's why I got to follow the leader. Like, these are my rules you just need to follow. That's really what I'm getting. So for some of you, I'm picking up a very karmic energy, a very controlling, abusive energy. Like a military person. Like, you know, you shouldn't break the rules. If I say, you know, you should be here by 10 p.m., you should be here by 10 p.m., or else I'm going to give you a beating. That's really the vibe I'm getting. Oh, my gosh. Crazy. Crazy, but that's for some of you, not all of you, though. And I feel that's part of the lesson here. Like, instead of speaking your voice, instead of speaking up, allowing yourself to be heard, you just follow. All right, that's why there's a lot of throat to chakra blockage as well for group number three. Because earlier for group number two, I also lost my voice, except for group number one. I never did crazy all right so let's see what else let's actually ask what are the lessons in this connection healing again Oh my gosh, and then you got creativity. See, I told you. There's really something about creativity here. Because I really pick up that vibe, you know, somebody's into music, kind of like a musician, um, artist, um, writing. That was so strong. Oh my gosh. And again, there's something about parenthood. Okay? That was... So strong as well. And see, wisdom. I told you. That's why I said it's kind of like a spiritual teacher. You know, somebody's really wise. And somebody's sharing their knowledge. Now we got wisdom. Oh my gosh. I can't freaking believe this. I just love the synchronicity of this reading. Yeah. And again, with a waterfall. It's like, for me, I feel the purpose of this connection, all right? It's going to teach the both of you, all right, to really express those feelings and emotions, all right? That's really what I'm picking up. I feel that either the person that you're dealing with is really logical or somebody is actually more logical. They don't want to feel. They don't want to express their feelings. That's really strong as well. Just like with this waterfall, effortless, like let it flow. Just let it flow. Allow it to flow instead of restricting it. No wonder you got the devil card. Okay? That's actually part of the soul lesson or the contract and this connection to heal that. Because somebody's doing that. Somebody's kind of like... I don't want, you know, to express my feelings. Instead of actually allowing it to flow, I'm going to hold it back. All right? That is crazy. And then for some of you, 
I'm actually getting something about healing as well. Like, I'm talking about the both of you are most probably are like healers as well. Um, and again, there is, you know, uh, an element of life purpose here. Like, the both of you are healing the community, sharing your wisdom. But I'm more of like getting for the rest of you. It's actually more like related to speaking up. Allowing your voice to be heard. There's really something about communication as well for group number three. Kind of like group number two. Because what's happening is that one of you is not wanting to look into their emotions. One of you is kind of like trying to appear as if... I am detached. So no wonder you keep on getting a lot of masculine energy. Very, you know, and like an authority figure. You know, like I don't want to be vulnerable. So there's something about vulnerability for group number three. Like somebody always wanted to appear so strong. Like I don't feel any emotion. I have to be strong. That's what I'm getting. Wow. This is crazy. This is crazy. I just am blown away with all of these, you know, cards that you're getting, group number three. Okay, so let's actually uncover more lessons here. What are the lessons in this connection? Ooh. Cards are flying out. You got guilt. Gratitude. friendship okay all right quite interesting okay so here's what i'm actually seeing with these three cards about the lesson in this connection you got guilt okay so i feel that one of you is actually feeling guilty all the time I don't know. I'm getting that. Like one of you is actually either you're staying because I'm getting a karmic energy. Like one of you staying in the same connection, even though you already are kind of like aware that there are red flags. That's what I'm hearing. But it's like you always feel guilty by leaving this person because I heard freedom earlier and you got the devil card now this is especially for those who are resonating with yeah that person is my karmic you know because I'm getting a very toxic behavior for others of you and this person is stubborn this person it's more like acting out of you know selfishness like this person is selfish all right for some of you and it's like this person always makes you feel guilty if you're nodding your head right now and you're saying, yeah, that's what this person's doing, that's it. You know, that's part of the lesson to free yourself from the guilt. Because I feel for some of you, especially if you're resonating with this is your karmic, because for others, I'm getting a soulmate. But this energy over here, I'm more like getting a karmic, like a person's very toxic, a person is very controlling over you. And this person is kind of like manipulating your emotions. That's why I have a lot of water as well. Even with that waterfall. That's part of the lesson. To free yourself from the guilt. Free yourself from the toxicity. The control. Okay. Now that is for the karmic. Okay. If you're resonating more with that. And then you got gratitude. I am thankful for this life. And the opportunities that it presents. I feel that this... Connection is actually teaching, you know, one of you to be in this energy of gratitude. Because earlier, like what I said, I feel that there's a lot of cards about treasure, about wealth. I even said at the start for some of you, like this person's kind of like so wealthy, so rich, um, kind of like a sultan. And then you got the Midas. Midas, you know, turns everything into gold, right? But this person's most probably... Um, acting as if they are a miser you know like in this poverty consciousness and that's why i keep on hearing the word selfish that's another thing that i'm actually getting instead of being grateful as well for others of you the gratitude is more of like you felt as if that you're not appreciated by this person because this person is so freaking cold towards you or it's the other way around remember roles can be switched Somebody's not feeling appreciated. Somebody's not being very grateful for 
the connection for what the other person's bringing to the table. That's actually what I'm getting. And then he got friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So for some of you, you're probably just inquiring about a friend. Okay? Or maybe you guys were also friends in the previous lifetime. But I feel that this connection is also teaching you the true value of friendship. To be grateful for the friendship that you both shared with each other. Because I'm actually picking up that maybe something happened in which one person, whether this is you, you felt as if that this person is not appreciating you. This person is not showing the value, all right, that you have put in. Um, or it made you feel as if that this person is very, you know, selfish and controlling of you. I don't know. I'm getting that. But there's really something about appreciation. Like somebody's not being very grateful for this connection. What the other person actually brought to the table is really, really strong. Somebody's being very selfish here. And that's the lesson in this connection. The true value of friendship. What a real friend means, okay? Real friends are going to stick with you until the very end, all right? In my experience, I've let go of a lot of friends, okay? Before, I used to feel guilty of doing that until I actually realized um, about the term healthy detachment, okay? Especially if you're around people who are so clingy of you or kind of like very controlling of your energy they're kind of like really trying to drain your energy and then when you start setting boundaries with them they would make you feel guilty which is weird it's kind of like the same vibe here all right so some of you might resonate with that like i've experienced that myself like a person is going to be kind of like really obsessed with their energy and because you're so giving to them all right and if you stop that, if you actually create some boundaries, then this person will get mad. Like, why are you not doing this anymore, right? So there's that term, healthy detachment, okay? Because one of you is actually kind of like afraid to speak up. That's why you got a lot of cards about communication, to tell this other person no, like one of you is so pleasing, you know, always pleasing the other um, individual. And I'm getting that energy of codependency for group number three. I feel that's another lesson in this connection, the word codependency. Okay. And in my experience, just to share to you guys, all right, real friends are really going to support you, especially during your darkest times. Not just for fun. Okay? We can call anybody as a friend. But real friendship, true friends are the ones who would really, you know, value you. Not really control you. Not really tell you what you should be doing all the time. So there's that respect and the connection, right? Somebody's going to fan the flames, not to dim the light, not to lower you down, okay? That's not a real friend if they're doing that towards you, okay? Especially if you're inquiring about a friend. Because somebody's doing that. Somebody's actually very controlling. Somebody's, I'm hearing like, you need me. You need me. I'm, I'm hearing that, you know? And I've dealt with someone who's like that, who's very controlling of me, you know? This person is actually very, very controlling. Like she wanted to tell me that you need me, okay? She's not saying that in front of me, but because of she is very controlling, very manipulative. She would make me feel guilty if I try to say no to her. It's like, it's my way or the highway. If I say you sit, you should sit. So I'm getting the same energy here, honestly. A very controlling, dictatorial type of vibe that I'm getting for some of you. 
And that's not good. That is unhealthy. No wonder he got the devil card. So I really feel um, this connection is allowing, you know, the both of you to learn how to promote unconditional love, okay? Now, it's not to say that you're going to condone what this person is doing. Unconditional love is that you accept that this person will not change anymore. This is who they are. But that's not to say you're going to just live with it. Create some boundaries, okay? And then for others of you, I'm getting the lesson in this connection had something to do with appreciating what the other person is actually, you know, putting in the table. What is the real value of friendship, okay? The true value of friendship here. And there's really something about control, I tell you that. Especially if some of you who are resonating with, yeah, this person seems to be really toxic. Like this person's also controlling me, making me feel guilty. There you go. Ding, 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 ding. That's it. You know, that's a red flag, my boys and my girls. Because that's a sign, you know, it's really unhealthy. All right. And this person needed to grow. So for some of you, it's really toxic, honestly. All right. Let's see. What else? What are the lessons in this connection? Oops. Peace. Okay. Oh my gosh. You keep on getting peace? I can't believe this. So I feel that the lesson in this connection between you and this person they're inquiring about, again, on top of promoting unconditional love, just like this mother and a child, right? It's also something to do with peace and harmony. Because I'm actually also getting here that for some of you watching, there's a lot of, you know, very hostile energy. I don't know. I'm really picking that up. I'm also getting here that the lesson in this connection with the dragonfly, dragonfly is a symbolism of change as well. So I feel that this is actually going to empower the both of you um, to change some things. All right. To allow the other person to grow is also what I'm hearing because I'm hearing control like somebody is not willing for, you know, things to change. I'm hearing the word selfish, honestly, for some of you, like some of you, you are inquiring about a karmic, honestly, like this person is just not willing to allow you to change or for things to change. That's really what I'm getting. And somebody actually needed to have the courage as well to really, you know, let their voice be heard. Just like with this emergence card, you know, emerge from the deep waters there's also something about emotions here, like somebody's afraid to tap into their feelings. And so they're just hiding it all the time. That's another thing that I'm picking up here. But yeah, only take what applies. This is quite interesting. All right, let's see. What else? What are the lessons in this connection? Trust. Fear, abundance, yeah, oh my gosh, yeah, because you got the Midas and the Miser, like somebody's really, you know, kind of like operating from that space of 
poverty, consciousness of poverty. That's really strong. Because I even got that. Like, somebody's so selfish of their money. There's something about money, really. All right? Like, somebody's so materialistic. That's really what I'm picking up. Like, I feel in their lifetime, because I got that lifetime in which a person is so wealthy, like a sultan. And so this person was so so domineering i'm getting that vibe domineering very controlling and it's all about money all the time like not appreciating the value of the connection you get what i'm saying that's the vibe i'm getting for group number three like somebody's doing that even on this lifetime maybe as well like somebody is actually actually not looking into the value of the connection instead they're more putting their focus on the material stuffs and then for others, it would be fear. This person is operating, maybe, or it can be you. Again, it's for the both of you. The lesson in this connection for the both of you is not to operate from a space of fear. Because somebody in this connection is kind of like afraid to look into their feelings, to be real to what they truly feel. And instead of actually doing that, they're always scared. That's actually what I'm picking up. So instead of actually operating from that space, the both of you should actually live in that energy of love, of peace, right? And they got trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. No wonder you got the voice card as well. Somebody's also kind of like not trusting their own intuition, their own discernment. That's also, you know, part of the triggers in this connection. Like somebody's not really, you know, listening to their inner compass or their inner guidance. That's another thing. Wow. All right. I love this. And it's crazy for group number three. I keep on hearing some, you know, stuffs, which is weird. Like I even heard some, you know, noises. It's really weird. Um, I don't want to talk about it. I'm all alone by myself, but I'm really hearing, you know, some some weird sounds. Crazy. Anyway. Trees. Orphan. Oh, okay. All right. Asia. See, I told you. I even said monk. I even said monk earlier. Okay. All right. So this is interesting. Because I'm also getting here for others of you with the orphans. Kind of like group number one. Where there's abandonment issues going on. Whether it's actually a father-son, father-daughter dynamic. Or mother-daughter, mother-son dynamic. It's kind of like group number one. In which... This connection is teaching you something about abandonment, okay? Like, somebody's staying, they don't want to be orphaned by the other person. Like, somebody's just staying, that's why I'm getting a karmic. Like, you felt as if you were hooked with this person. Because I'm getting freedom very strongly, okay? But for others of you, I'm getting a different energy with the orphan. It's more of like somebody, just like group number one, is actually, you know, needing not to base their happiness with the existence of the other person. Like, this person is not wanting the other person to leave. That's what I'm getting. So whether that's you or it's the other way around, okay? So abandonment issues is very strong. You got the tree, so definitely family. All right. For a lot of you as well, because we we saw earlier um, father. So, yeah, I'm getting a family energy here. Some of you are also inquiring about a family member. And this person may also be a family member as well in the previous lifetime. And they got Asia. So, yeah, I got that very strongly, too. Yeah. And I really feel um, let me go back to your cards. Hold on. Let me just go back. Where's that card? Yeah, there you go. You got wise one. And look at the similarity of the images. We see two Buddhas over here. So uh, 
That's why I said for some of you, I'm getting monk, okay? So I feel if you're resonating with that, because I'm getting that very spiritual figure, I feel that um, either this is them, they are kind of like a monk in a previous lifetime, or the both of you, because I'm also getting here, if you're a monk, you're not really materialistic, okay? Um, yeah, in Buddhism, right? Like, you are not really, you know, basing off happiness on material stuff alone. That's why the monk lives a simple life, you know? They're all about enlightenment as well. So there's really something about money. There's really, that's why I got the abundance card. I feel that this connection is actually teaching the both of you something about the true value of togetherness, the true value of connection, not just based on material things alone. Because somebody is very materialistic. That's really what I'm picking up. Somebody's all about money, 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 money all the time. About material stuffs. One of you is more spiritual as well. One of you is actually more of like the wise one. You know, that you are aware that I'm not really, you know, um, going to base off my happiness from material things alone. You get what I'm saying? That's the vibe I'm getting for some of you. Wow. This is really weird. And for group number three, I tell you, I'm really hearing something, you know, when I'm actually doing a reading, especially if you're open, like it would actually, you know, allow you to sense other steps, you know, as you're doing the reading. And honestly, I keep on hearing a lot like in my kitchen, like something is moving in my kitchen. It's crazy. I was just about to pause the video and it's like. Oh my God, this is so freaking creepy. But anyway, just want to share to you guys. Um, I'm suddenly hearing, you know, some stuffs, some paranormal stuffs. So that's freaking weird. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this um, past life reading. And I will see you again on the next flip through plus pick a card. Bye bye, guys. Love and light.